guys so welcome to ko tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the lighting of this particular modern railway station over here so let's continue it so now what i'll be doing over here let's go into the material editor and let's add an hdri over here so i'll just go over here and I'll just call a V-Ray HDRI. So let's call an HDRI over here. Let's go into the bitmap. I'll go into the downloads. And I'll just call one HDRI. Let's make this as spherical ground projection over here. So let's go into rendering. and let's go into environment and let's drag this over here go into rendering go into render setup and over here as well I'll first make it as bucket I'll go down let's reduce the noise threshold to 0 0.001 go into environment and i'll drag this i'll drag this over here and color mapping i'll keep it as exponential over here so let's go over here and let's render it once again so now as you can see I have added an HDRI over here so which is going to cover this area for the background so I'll again go over here and let's select one light over here so I've already assigned one light and if needed I can just duplicate it and let's make a copy of it so I can just drag it down let's just resize it over here in this way so just push it out and if needed I can just give a bit of temperature over here similarly we can slightly give a bit of temperature over here as well so again I will go into this and let's render it once again slightly now let's select this so I'll again go over here I'll just save the file once so let's select this So I'll just ungroup this. So let's select this over here. Select this. So I'll just delete this over here. So I'll go into this. let's select this whole thing and let's mirror it copy it in x axis i'll just duplicate it over here 
so let's just place it over here in this way so again go over here we can again let's render it so i'll again go into this and we can again render it once slightly so now we'll be adding a bit of fog light so let's do that so very first of all i'll just save the file once again So let's go into this atmospheric apparatus and let's take a box gizmo over here so i can just go over here select this and go into this let's add a vray environmental fog we can check that go into the setup go down and let's change the fog color let's click okay increase the fog distance and over here what i'll be doing is like first i'll just remove it and increase the fog height let's add this gizmo let's add the light and let's render it once so now as you can see while i'm adding this i'll again go over here and i'll increase the fog distance let's render it once again so we can slightly go down into this let's increase it to 64 let's make it to 500 and over here again i'll increase it more slightly so we can just increase the height of it and let's render it once again and let's see how it looks like So I'll again go into rendering, go into render setup, iridance map, light cache, and into this, I'll increase it 180 by 60, the subdivisions, and the light cache. I'll make it to 1200. So again, go into this, go down. all right we'll keep this as bucket and let's render it once again and let's see how it looks over here so we'll just render it once and see okay so i'll just select this light i'll go into this make it as invisible double sided if needed all right 
so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so if you're not subscribed my youtube channel yet please do subscribe so we'll come up with more and more tutorials so put so put it in the comment section whatever video you want me to make so thanks for watching this tutorial